So we come in to the third move of the bit of a mouthful, the uh, a lot of breathing into one here. Um, the Hypno Yoga Pilates Qigong sequence, eight moves based on the eight brocades or the movements of the eight brocades with the all them types of breathing in there, a bit of a mixture. Again, because these moves, um, they're such good motions and movements that they don't really want to waste them. So again, we're not really going down the traditional path of meridians, etc. Even though a lot of the meridians, the electromagnetic rivers running through the body will be benefited. But again, this we're, the emphasis is slightly different with this. So we are going to go for number three, which is open the bow to let the arrow fly, or it's called many similar names, or, it's, or drawing the bow to shoot the golden eagle, or the other way around. Doesn't matter. Um, again, we're going to go with the Pilates setup. So, zip up pelvic floor, scoop out your abdominals. Them two go together anyway. You can't do one without the other. Okay, so just think of tucking in the belly button. That makes it easier. That will help you naturally breathe into these lower lobes of the lungs and use what we call the corset muscle, the core, what we call the core, the transverse abdominus, the corset muscle, three layers deep in towards the spine to protect the spine. That's what we pretty much do in Pilates. There's a lot more detail to that, but just sort of brushing over that. So straight away, it's going to the Pilates breath when you breathe. But unlike Pilates, you're gonna go for the more yogic breath mixed in with it. So rather than we breathe in for the nose, instead of exhaling through pursed lips like Pilates generally does, we're gonna close the mouth and come in and out through the nose as you zip up pelvic floor, gathering navel towards the spine. So just try that to start off with. So you're gonna breathe in for the nose. And exhale. Again, breathing in and out for the nose, the smaller filter will help you lengthen the breath even longer, especially that elongated out breath, which is longer than the in breath. Breathing for the nose and exhale through purse lips. Lovely. So when we do that, I don't know if you notice a diff, bit of a sign breath, which is Ujjayi breath, the more sort of advanced yoga breath. So you're going to grip at the esophagus and we're going to exhale. That sort of raspy, silky, whistling breath, Ujjayi breath, okay. What I've done is grip at the esophagus, that turns that into Ujjayi breath. If you can't get that, just breathing out for the nose as you zip up and gather in. Okay, that'll keep it more simple. If you can get that grip in the esophagus, that will help us lengthen the breath even longer, help us stimulate the thyroid gland, which helps with weight control, etc. Helps us build the heat in the body, helps us fan the fire, Burn all the toxins in the body. Ujjayi breath there, lovely. So we're going to make it sort of more hypnotic breath by breathing through the nose and exhaling for as long as you like. As you can probably hear, the out breath will naturally drop longer than the in breath, if that makes sense. So you'll naturally want to elongate the out breath. Okay, um, don't force anything, just let it go slightly longer, or if you feel comfortable, go a lot longer. Um, it's a bit like 7-Eleven breathing in hypnotherapy, where you breathe in, it's conscious thought, exhale, it's subconscious thought, so when you extend that out breath longer than your in-breath, that encourages sleep, digestion, rest, and relaxation to all be benefited by elongating the out breath longer than the in-breath, okay? Lovely, it helps all the housekeeping parts of the body, the things you don't think about, like I just mentioned, okay? So lovely, we're gonna go straight in and calibrate and synchronize the breath with the motion, integrate the breath with the movement, okay? Lovely. So from there, zip up pelvic floor, scoop out the abdominals, they go together anyway. As soon as we do this, that gets that corset muscle, three layers deep, the transverse abdominus,
as you gather in, take the navel towards the spine, breathing through the nose, and exhaling. That lovely raspy, silky breath, Ujjayi breath, seashell breath, any sort of Darth Vader breath in a way. If you can't get that, just keep on breathing out through the nose as you gather in, zip up and high low. And just let that out breath fall longer as we link that to motion. So I'm gonna go back and demonstrate and then come back nearer. So you can see the hand motion, okay? So I'm gonna go back here, demonstrate. Again, slightly wider in the squat stance, sort of a cool sumo stance. Okay, so feet slightly out of V, but not Charlie Chaplin, okay? Come down only as deep as you like, as with all Qigong sequences or any, any of them. I'm going to go down deep, you don't have to copy me. And if you do go down deep, I wouldn't let knees go past the toes, personally. Some people disagree with that, whatever. Okay, see what suits you. Work within your limits. So again, I'm going to breathe in to prepare and exhale. Shoulders down. And look where you're aiming that breath as you sort of pull in the arrow. You would aim where you're, you look where you're aiming that breath. That's the focus. So come closer. You can stay up or go down deep or stay up high. See what suits you. It's a, you look the way you're sort of firing that arrow. Okay, it's for a sort of focus. Stuff like that, where the heart's intention goes, you look towards that area. Breathe it in, and come this way a little bit, and you exhale. Make sure them shoulders come down. Again, sort of 90% of us are overactive in the upper traps. So really focus on keeping them shoulders down, allowing them to melt in towards the body. As if there's a trickle of water just running down the back and dispersing, mount the shoulders over hips, head over shoulders. Lovely. So that's a really nice one because it opens out the chest and all the organs in the chest, the heart, the lungs, the pericardium, the heart lining, all been opened out like a book. We tend to sort of compress these areas a lot in everyday life. So anything that opens out the chest is good. Use that elongated exhale in a sort of yogic way. That's how you elongate the exhale. That will help you melt into that posture and have that release on the chest easier. Subconscious part of the mind is being encouraged. So that helps us just relax and stretch in a more relaxed manner, especially that chest there. Take the hands back towards you and if you even stretch the hands, the finger flexors, as you open out that chest. Gather in, navel towards the spine, lengthen up for the crown, and exhale, open out like a book. Lovely, that was number three, You're gonna go number four next. YSL gazes backwards, or other names. That was number three, bang, lovely.